Local activists joined a nationwide votercade calling on lawmakers to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act and the For the People Act. Supporters drove to Senator Rob Portman's office to urge him to vote yes on these bills they argue would protect and expand voting rights. Michael Tater reports this comes as Ohio joined recent states in proposing its own voting overhaul bill. Hands up, voting rights activists are calling on federal lawmakers to pass two new bills, ones they argue would protect the vote. We need a basic standard across the board consistency. House Resolution 4 or the John Lewis Voting Rights Act would restore a key part of the Voting Rights Act of 1965, requiring certain states to sign off on any election law changes with the federal government. State Representative Lisa Sobecki says it was the federal government that helped assure the right to vote for African Americans and women. Well, there's clear examples of when our federal government has had to step in with the states to um, allow people the opportunity to vote. House Resolution 1, or the For the People Act, would do a little more. It would expand voting rights by allowing for same-day voter registration, require states to offer early voting, it would make Election Day a federal holiday, change campaign finance laws, and make the redrawing of congressional districts a nonpartisan process. These calls come just as Ohio introduced its own voting overhaul bill, House Bill 294. It really isn't about modernizing, it is about voting, voter suppression. State Representatives Paula Hicks Hudson and Sobecki say the new proposal hurts the very ways more people voted in the 2020 election. It limits counties to just one ballot drop box location and allows them to be used only for the 10 days before the election compared to 30 in 2020. Why can we put a ballot box at the library? People go to the library, it's secure. The bill also eliminates early voting on the Monday before the election and reduces the time to request an absentee or mail-in vote. They often say time is money. This is a new poll tax that they're imposing on my members, on the citizens of Toledo. The bill will be reviewed in the House before coming to a vote. In Toledo, Michael Tater, WTOL 11.